Right. I don't know what happened there. Um, normally, I have a little moment to myself while the video is playing. And um, whatever happened there didn't... Well, anyway, listen, technical bugs happen, don't they? Um, how are you all doing? Um, <laughs> so we got some developments on the takeover, as you would imagine. Um, so Jim Radcliffe is hoping to complete a purchase of a 25% stake in Manchester United uh, later this week. Uh, it was rumoured to be Monday at first. Obviously, we're past Monday now. Uh, and we're now into uh, Tuesday. And it's getting into the stage where it's... I imagine there's a lot of paperwork involved. Um, there's all the conversion of, like, Class B to Class A to Class B to whatever it ends up being, the the state of the two-tier share system that we've got in this football club. Um, according to the Daily Mail, Radcliffe has got no plans to build a new stadium for Manchester United, um, despite the problems that are at Old Trafford. Uh, he is determined to renovate the ground to make it fit for purpose in the 21st century. Um, that's going to cost a lot of money. But I tend to agree with the sentiment. I think um, I think ultimately the long-term thing for United is the, we are a club. Realistically, we're a club that trades on our heritage in a big way, right? That is a little bit about who we are. If you're a, you know, a, a club with, without so much history, even if you're a club like... Arsenal was a big historic club, right? But it didn't really damage Arsenal's brand by moving to the Emirates when they, they left or the historic marble of um, of what Highbury was. I, I think United would be damaged, considering what our history is all about. I, I think United would be damaged. You know, the, the things about you know that, that stadium being in existence for 115 or so years um, in that location, it is our third or fourth stadium that we had. We had Bank Street, we had the one in Newton Heath. Um, I want to feel like there's another one as well. Um, it's at least our third stadium. So, you know, obviously all of those moves happened prior to uh, 1908. So, we've been in situ in this location now for, for every major thing bar the naming of the club. Um, so, I think it's... It's wrong for United to look to move. It's wrong for us to even rebuild on that site. I like the fact that Duncan Edwards, George Best, Bobby Charlton, Eric Cantona, David Beckham, Ryan Giggs all played on that pitch where it is right now. I think that's a massive thing. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I'd like us to keep it there rather than knock it down and, and start again. And I think you can renovate it. It's tight in some areas. It's very tight. It's all shoulders. If you've got a couple of blokes who know where the Greg's queue is, then it's a bit difficult. Someone's got to sit back and someone's got to sit forward. You don't get to just sit back with each other. Um, but you should be standing up at the football if you can anyway. So I don't give a fuck about that. Even where I stand with my dad, it's still like concertina in a little bit. Um but make it safe standing in the Stretford End and K stand and, you know, do any of the, the you know, the stuff that you want to do to attract those sort of corporate types. Um, when we're uh, when we're able to, maybe in the new sap stand or something like that. That's what we should be doing. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and like Duncan McConaughey in there says, we should have a youth stadium. Again, we should have a youth stadium. That's it. Simple as that. We should have a youth stadium. No two ways around it. Um, but you could build that on the land that Old Trafford sits on, and I think it'd be sensational. I think it'd be a really good idea. Anyway, uh, according to the BBC, Radcliffe wants to be involved uh, and taking control of football operations um, is supposedly part of how it's coming through. One source reportedly told the media outlet that it was unthinkable um, that he would become a silent partner. After the takeover, United are set to move uh, for Nice defender uh, Jean-Claire Tadebo. Of course they are. Um, makes a hell of a lot of sense. He's been on United's radar previously, but supposedly the move fell apart. Ten Hag obviously being squished with injuries um, at the heart of defence. Seems like he's ready to dip into the transfer market uh, to, to help bolster his options. Like, I genuinely right now could sit here and make a case for almost every single position by a goalkeeper on the pitch. Like, legitimately, I can make a case that it looks like, look, yesterday there was talk that they're, they're going to try and offload uh, Varane, Sancho and Martial, which is, oh, 
tens of millions in um in wages every year and you go okay well if you do that you you really need to bring in a second striker um someone that's a little bit different um someone maybe with a bit more experience someone at the like if you could bring in a Cavani or a Zlatan now at the time the the age they were when we signed them that'd be absolutely perfect for someone for for Hoyland to learn off. I think that'd be a really good idea. I can make a case for a right winger because of obvious reasons. I can make a case for a left winger at the moment. Um, maybe number 10 is quite safe, actually, as well, but we could do with a central midfielder, a six or an eight. I could do with a centre-half. You could even make a case for a left-back at the moment. It might not be the strongest case, but you could make one. So, you know, United are in a mad position um, through injuries, through form, through all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah. This is one of them, isn't it? Um, anyway, um, Sancho. So uh, this will come as a shock to absolutely nobody. Um, Sancho is a top target for Saudi Arabia, according to Matt Law from The Telegraph. Um, Romano mentions that Juventus have inquired about a loan, uh, but United are waiting for a permanent offer. Looks like we want him off the books entirely. People around Sancho believe reconciliation is possible, but it looks extremely likely that he's going to leave right now um and maybe it's for the best it's um probably not happened in that sense has it uh anywho let's see what you guys are saying in the comments um greg says the way spurs built their new stadium was class uh building slightly to the side uh, until it eventually needed to take the corner out it was good the way they built it but and it's a great stadium that they have built admittedly but i i feel like White Hart Lane was such a shithole that I don't think it was savable. And what they've done now is just leapfrogged. Well, it's leapfrogged everybody in the Premier League, let's be honest with ourselves. It is probably the best stadium in the Premier League. Um, but I don't think Old Trafford requires that. You know, And you think about you know, the locations of the statues and all of the stuff that's in the area at the moment. I just don't... You know, United, United, to me at least, has always felt despite the global pull of the thing, it's always felt homely. And I like that it's built in brick and I can see the brick. And, you know, I, I would rather that brick than the sort of concrete and cladding that you get. And that might just be a personal preference for me, but I'm probably not alone in, in sharing that sort of enjoyment of that aesthetic. And I think you can upgrade what's there and make it, you know, a, a, a stadium worthy of Manchester United. You know, it, it was really getting there up until 2005. I wonder what happened in 2005 where all the investment in facilities stopped. Um, Montreal Royal MCFC says, uh, seeing what Real Madrid and Barcelona are doing at the Bernabeu in the new camp, that's the path Old Trafford needs. Duncan says, you stadium, call it the Busby. Yeah, I could argue for that. Um, Giles says there was also talk about a trade, uh, Sancho for Chiesa. I'd be, I'd be up for that one, I think. Um, Greg says that Taremi lad, is he actually good enough for us? Yeah, actually, probably would be. Um, would he come and want to play second fiddle is the, is the answer. Uh, Brian says, uh, <laughs> Phil, I love my brick. I do love brick. Um, Brian says, I can't see any way back for Sancho, frozen out from the rest of the squad, left out of the squad photos. Uh, need to cash in for now, but let's be honest, we're only getting 25 mil for him. Notch says, uh, would, wi would widening the seat in Old Trafford reduce the capacity by an unreasonable amount? It would, but you might be able to claw it back with um you might be able to claw it back with um you can add 1.5 people to every one seat with safe standing so you might be able to get it back like if you went okay in maybe this area and this area let's be honest north stand south stand we're gonna go uh you know 0.75 seats per every seat so you can put a bigger seat in there in those areas maybe you maybe it's only a couple of sections in there you lose a little bit of capacity but you gain or you at least level it off or you know, you, you you keep the capacity the same by by introducing rows of safe standing where you get 1.5 people per every seat um i don't know i, I think that would be a potential option but I think you could introduce rail seating. Like, if you just bought the whole of the Stratford End rail seating um, and just turned a little bit of a blind eye to stuff. Like, was in Copenhagen last week? The, the pyro, that's literally illegal in England. 
Why though? Why could we not have like, you know, you've got representatives in the TRA. Why can't you send some of those representatives on a pyro safety course and a fire safety course and have a couple of people who have to wear a fucking bib be the ones that handle the pyro and then you get pyro in, in your stadium and it's safe. Because of course, nobody wants to fucking... Uh, get burnt by them things because they're extremely dangerous, but they can be handled in a safe manner. Look at the entirety of Eastern Europe, where there's more fucking flares than people in some instances. Are you seeing swathes of people coming out burnt? And you know, then you'll get people like, I've got a fucking cough, I can't have that shit near me. And of course, you don't want anyone to go to the ground and get fucking injured, but come on, man, can we have a little bit of fucking stoicism about ourselves for summer? Um... Nitin says, will we see Greenwood back at United? Seeing him putting in the numbers for Getafe? Don't think so. Uh, Hostad says, speaking of transfers, wouldn't mind Onana from Everton, but is he just a more technical McTominay? Maybe that's what we need. I think he is, and I think I would. Yeah, I agree. I think he's a little bit more dynamic as well. Um... Disco says, even the A-League has TFOs and Technics. Uh, Brian says, being said so many times by many different people, the disability section needs moving. It's absolutely mental that we put our most vulnerable fans in front of the away fans. It's absolutely... I, I'd love to find the person who went, yeah, not, yeah, put them there. Fuck it. It's such an irresponsible thing. And it's, it's so often... Obviously, no fair few people who are in the disabled section... It's so often when you have conversations with them, you're like, yeah, get pelted with fucking coins, uh, pyro, uh, beers. Just, it's absolutely shambolic that we put our most vulnerable fucking fans uh, right underneath the away fans. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, Liam says, need the stadium revamp, not just for the football, but start hosting big events again. Talk of a USC stadium for Aspinall next year, but no chance... Uh, Old Trafford in its current state. Um, yeah, it's a good good shout. We were talking about him this morning. I'm not sure where he's from. He's from round here somewhere, isn't he? Should we have a quick Google? Um, because some people say in Salford, I thought he was Wigan way, in all honesty. Uh, and he is from... Says he's from Salford. Uh, he trains at Cowbon, which is Liverpool. So that's probably why. Oh, Oh, yeah, he's from Wigan. Born in Wigan. Fighting out of Salford. But he's at Cowboy, which is in Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was from fucking Wigan. Um, but there you go. So yeah, we should have something like that. Is he a red? I get the feeling he's a red. Um, Montreal says the pyro in Saarbrücken after the team not buying out of the cup. That was quite a scene. Pyro's always a fucking scene. Pyro is always a scene. And it's great. The, the problem is the law in England is... Taking pyro into the stadium is is jail time, or it's at least a crime. Um, it's a massive fine, and it can be jail time. But then you go, okay, cool, that's fine. What about all the fireworks and pyro and stuff that you see at things like the cup final or when a team wins the title? Well, that's done by professionals. Well, can't you have professional pyro people in the fucking stands? One second. <laughs> <laughs> fucking one of our players is messaging me about tonight um you guys saying in the comments uh, um what stadium can we use while old trafford is revamped it's a very good question genuinely don't know I don't think we can use the Etihad. And there's nowhere else in Manchester that's big enough to, to host. Bolton? They're not really fucking big fans of United, are they? I don't know. I really don't know. I really, really, really don't know. Um, Brian says, my dad had a lot of disabilities, <clears throat> but I won't bring him to... Uh, sorry, my lad has a lot of disabilities, but I won't bring him to Old Trafford where well, the disabled area is shame because I go pretty regular. That's fucking scandalous, isn't it? Honestly, that's absolutely scandalous. Um, Honey Badger says Stockport yeah Stockport could be a thing IR says banning they're banning certain flags in stadiums pyro is just wishful thinking um, there's a few people mentioning someone said the Etihad they're, they're not going to let us borrow the Etihad are they think about it think about it they're not going to let us borrow the Etihad 
Um, uh, Hostad says we're so vanilla. Yeah, this is the problem, right? Copenhagen had a, a free sort of image TIFO. All of those images were taking the piss out of Manchester United. There's no way anybody right now says um, yes to a, a, a Premier League team doing that because they'll be worried it offends somebody. To quote Stephen Fry, I think it was, if you're offended, so fucking what? <laughs> like, it's, it's aimed at United. And United fans go, I get it. And we should be like, we should be able to do that to Liverpool. We should be able to do that to City. We should be able to do that to Arsenal. You know, as long as you don't fucking cross the line, a little bit of ribbon is happy days. People have took piss taking off the table now. It's a fucking joke. Uh, Matt says build a secondary decent secondary stadium that Women's Super League could play out of later then redevelop Old Trafford how big do you make that you know the women's attendances aren't um, you know coming close to what you would need for a men's Premier League game so do you make one that's a little bit bigger to accommodate you for one season or do you make it where it's going to be like eight, ten, twelve thousand, 12,000 um, and not quite full for a lot of the women's games, but the 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 year United would be required to play there, no one goes, basically. We've got like 60,000 season ticket holders. What the fuck happens then? Um, Super Chat here from Josh says Can I pop down the road and ask the neighbour if Paul Mitchell's taking the job? Maybe pop a list of players through the letterbox. It's not down the road, it's over the road <laughs> It's fucking 10 metres away and I have been hawking lately as well like that through my, uh, through my blinds just to see if I can spot anyone Would I build a new training centre or update Carrington? Why would you need to build a new training centre? No, you don't need to build a new training centre. Carrington is fine, and it's expandable where it is in that location. Um, it probably just needs a little bit of facilities improving. Uh, Giles says, I have a feeling we will be a couple of years away from rebamping the stadium starts. Jim needs more percentage and ownership of the club first. Yeah. Um, Matt says, 20,000 or so. City are building an entire arena for the fun of it. Oh, it's not for the fun of it, is it? The co-op. That's for like UFC fights and things like that. Um, Dan says, ask Qatar to build a stadium that can be constructed and deconstructed in days. I wonder. Uh, yeah, could we have like a 97, was it 974 or 973? 973 sort of situation. And it would actually make so much sense because the park, the industrial estate park that surrounds Old Trafford is all about shipping containers. How fucking cool would it be to have a shipping container temporary stadium on there? while they redeveloped Old Trafford. That would actually actually be fucking sick. Uh, do I live near Mitchell? No, his family live over the road from me, though. Um, Hook says, Jim Radcliffe hasn't purchased anything as of this time. Well, that we are aware that it's not been announced that he has. That doesn't mean that he's not. Um, Courtney says, keep Old Trafford. Do not want to underestimate the value of history. One of the reasons I wanted Jim Radcliffe was to believe he understands what Old Trafford meant. Um, Phil says my missus is making me go watch that shit at, uh, take that at that shit co-op place um, Patrick says my thoughts on Amrabat not getting much game time just not playing well enough or um, I don't know I wonder is it a case of um, he didn't have a pre-season um, and he was a little bit injured when he came is it us managing him I feel like it probably isn't because I feel like it's more likely um, it's more likely not that than than actually that. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know I don't know because to me he solves a lot of the problems that I think we're trying to solve, but you know Ten Hag maybe doesn't. Um, what are the biggest issues with renovating Old Trafford besides the railway? I don't believe the railway is the problem that it used to be. Um, uh, 
Wow, Steve, Google Gear Becke Tifo, a Norwegian club made a Tifo of their former manager hanged because he switched to a rival. Now, that for me would probably be overstepping the mark. Um, but I think the Tifo should express what the fans are trying to say. Um, you know, I just can't imagine anybody sanctioning that in the Premier League because of the TV global reach and the implications of all that sort of shit. Uh, the White Shadow says they could flat pack stadiums like they built in Manchester for the cycling um, uh, 2012 Olympics. Uh, Honey Badger, it'd be cool to see United play a smaller ground for a bit, but we'd be losing revenue while any renovations happen if it's in season. You'd lose a lot of revenue with United as well with the amount that we have in there. Anyways, um, I'm wrapping it up. If you need a bit of a football fix today, um, then... Well, Paddock are playing at Hyde United tonight against West Didsbury and Charlton. It's free entry, quarter to eight kickoff under the lights. Um, so if you want to get yourselves down, come and come and cheer the lads on. It should be a good game this tonight. It was a close game at home. I think it was 3-2 or 4-3 at home earlier in the season. So I anticipate another good game. Uh, and we've got top of the league at the weekend. So come and watch, see how it gets on. Um, anyway, thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you a lot in the next one. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.